It's Jessie Cat from Jessie Cat's Medispa. We can think of the skin as being the material on a couch. So we try to keep the material on our couch nice and thick and full so that it looks good. But over time, stuffing in the couch diminishes. So no matter how well you care for the material on your couch, no matter how thick and full and healthy the material on our couch is kept, over time the stuffing in our couch is going to degrade. It is going to compress. It is going to droop and fall. So you can see Sue came to me at a time where her skin it was still nice and full. It had not thinned to the point where she had very, very deep lines and she was experiencing a fall, okay? She was seeing her skin change, she was seeing some fine lines and wrinkles and she was experiencing a little bit more of a heaviness um, on the upper under eye area. She was noticing that the cheeks were starting to fall and she was seeing changes, pig pigmental changes. Uh, pigment changes uh, and other changes like fine lines and wrinkles. Now we did a lot of Ixilis which is a monopolar medical grade radio frequency device so it's coupled with ultrasound so it's not only radio frequency it's radio frequency and ultrasound non-ablative that's being delivered through one point of energy into the skin and it creates a thickening effect that I simply have not seen created with any other modality that I've worked with in my 10 years of working within the high-end aesthetic industry. I found this, that you just can't beat non-oblative radio frequency when it comes to creating the bulk needed to really plump out lost volume that occurs in a mature age woman's face after the age of 45. So we started with skin only uh, and Susan worked through a course of four stage facelifting treatments and we relied on non-oblative radio frequency first using the diamond polar technology provided by Venus Concept and then we transitioned into using the monopolar Exilis Ultra 360 device. So we were creating a solid base of result. Okay, so within her initial treatment package, she had a lot of the non-oblative radio frequency and that was coupled with lead light therapy. And we also layered in technologies like the Venus Viva, which is a non-oblate, or sorry, is an oblative radio frequency device. So it's all about the resurfacing and also smoothing the texture and decreasing the look of fine lines, wrinkles. So the scars that are left on the skin because the skin's collapsed over time. So Venus Viva allows us to polish away the scars that have left their mark in the skin because the skin has collapsed, it's thinned, we target the problem of thinning skin directly and we repair and rebuild it from the dermis up. I will not compromise on that, that is a process, it takes a little while, it took so many years for the skin to thin, it makes sense that it's going to take time to properly repair it and rebuild it and we want to target the dermis because it's in the dermis that new collagen, elastin and blood vessel creation occurs. So one radio frequency device is not the same as another. You need the big guns to get down to that deepest layer and rehab, rebuild the machine that actually creates collagen, elastin and blood vessel growth and that's what we do. And then of course you get all that lovely growth in the outer layers of the skin because that's what the dermis does. It sends up new collagen and elastin into the outer layers of the skin. And so you get a thickening of the skin overall. And within Susan's initial treatment package, we work to create that solid base, that solid base of result. Then we could build on that, that those results over time by Susan committing to a gold level next step package where she came for six treatments a year every two months she'd come for a two and a half hour treatment where I would perform non-oblative radio frequency and or I would use 
venous viva therapy, target irregularities in the outer layers of the epidermis, smooth away fine lines which are just scars that have left their mark in the skin as it's thinned. So we've targeted the problem, we've got the skin plumping up, so you think of a wrinkle, you've got it plumping up, and then we're buffing away at the mark that has been left in the skin, also helping to smooth away the look of pigmentation issues and enlarged pores, and that's where the ablative radiofrequency comes in. So we would layer that in as needed and no extra cost because the client had committed to a gold level package. Basically all my clients pay for with me is the non-oblative radiofrequency, everything else including skincare and at home devices is provided free of charge so that we can work as the ultimate anti-aging team. Susan has an irregularity when it comes to both sides of the face. Okay, and most of us do. If you took a picture of one side of our face and you compared it to another, it would not be the same. So, with Sue, it's just a little bit more noticeable. So, when you see Sue face to face, you do notice that one side of her face seems lower than the other. And as I mentioned, it's the same for all of us. But with Sue, it's just a little bit more noticeable. So we moved Sue on to microcurrent muscle work. This was Sue before she started her microcurrent muscle work. And this is Sue after she started her microcurrent. Okay, so over six years, we've continued to repair and rebuild Sue's skin in the most cost-effective way possible. And we've got her to this level you can see that Sue's lost a little bit of weight over this time um, and you can see that through her neck area and we've got a lovely thickening of her skin we've still got a little bit of unevenness through her jaw but she's looking pretty damn good okay and that's amazing when you consider that the natural aging process well we'd usually look older and older whereas Sue's looking younger and younger so that's just incredible that we can do that. Incredible. And this is the effects of Sue's microcurrent muscle work. So we had layered in high food therapy by this time, okay? Over the last three years, I've been layering high food skin and muscle work into my client's treatment packages free of charge. Remember, what my clients pay for is really the non-oblative radiofrequency that is the core of my business. Repairing and rebuilding the skin from the dermis upwards. We want to repair and rebuild the collagen, elastin and blood vessel making machine, as well as create new collagen and elastin within the epidermis, the outer layers. So, Sue's enjoyed HIFU. Nobody really enjoys HIFU. HIFU hurts just a little bit. But we manage that, and I do manage that by sneaking a little bit of high foo skin and muscle work into my clients' regular treatments, just doing small areas, keeping the discomfort manageable, and we got Sue to here. Now, there is a big difference between these two pictures, both with pigmentation, okay? We did a lot of extra lead light work when Sue was having her 10 microcurrent muscle treatments. She has to come twice a week for those, so it's really hard to work through the 10 treatments. That's the part that my clients struggle with, coming twice a week for an hour and a half. And then they transition into a platinum treatment package where they will be coming monthly for their microcurrent muscle work. And they'll, they'll get twice the skin work that they ever did because they're on my bed monthly instead of every two months. So one month they'll get microcurrent muscle work, an intensive treatment that treats them from their chest muscles, all of the chest, all of the neck, all of the facial muscles, have double the amount of skin work and they also have the microcurrent muscle work which is the solid foundation that their skin sits upon. So, the stuffing in the couch. As you can see, the jaw area. That's what we're looking at. That's what we're wanting to even up. So microcurrent muscle work was actually designed by a gentleman who was trying to get out of shoulder surgery. He was, he was an aeroplane engineer. 
and he was he, he was successful in creating technology that on a cellular level repaired and rebuilt the muscles and it repaired and rebuilt nerves so it does not make the muscles pulse if a technology makes the muscles pulse then you're probably having electrical muscle stimulation therapy which is very different from microcurrent muscle therapy which you should not feel okay so we were able to even up Sue's facial structure as well as improve overall pigmentation even more because she was on my bed twice a week for 10 treatments so the green lead light really loves the hormonal pigmentation that sue gets around her eyes a little bit around the mouth area and down her neck mylasma so green lead light can be very effective when treating mylasma and sue's a an example of this yeah was sue at the very beginning of her journey now you can see she's carrying a little bit more weight and she's lost a little bit of weight over the years and this was skin only okay and then finally we took her into her microcurrent muscle journey where we're creating a solid foundation for her skin to sit upon now with microcurrent muscle work which is far more effective than just high food muscle work which is like a quick fix muscle work that can only be done on the lower face and under the jaw microcurrent muscle work works to repair and rebuild all of the muscles of the face deals with the scaffolding that your skin sits upon by properly and in a comprehensive way repairing and rebuilding all of the muscles of the upper face the lower face all of the neck and chest area and over the next two years Sue's going to get even more youthful looking as that work continues to repair and rebuild and eventually at the three year mark we're going to hit a plateau and then we'll work to keep Sue timelessly youthful forever. Keep those results holding forever. I hope this helps with your journey to finding the right treatments and practitioners for your needs. Jessica's Medispa. Bye, ladies.